Show me the money. That's the plea today from county officials across Pennsylvania seeking the money needed to meet a state mandate to replace their voting machines. Yeah, that plea coming just days after Governor Wolf vetoed legislation that would have provided some financial options for counties. Our lead IT team reporter Andy Mahalshik is live at the Luzerne County Courthouse with details tonight. Andy. Good evening, Nick and Candace. Luzerne County officials tell me they don't know where they are going to get that money. They simply don't have it. And they're not alone. Well, listen, we're disappointed um, in the veto based, based upon one thing. We need the funding in order to move forward with the machines here in Luzerne County. Luzerne County Manager Dave Pedry isn't pulling any punches. He said when he heard that Governor Tom Wolf veto Senate Bill 48 on Friday, it was like a punch in the stomach. From the Luzerne County's perspective, it could be a tax hike, it could mean borrowing, it could mean a bunch of different things, it could mean moving money around within our current budget. We don't, all options are on the table at this point. But the option that they and other county officials across the Commonwealth had counted on is now off the table for now. That was funding from the state to help Luzerne County replace its 700 voting machines. The governor wants all voting machines in the state to provide a paper ballot receipt. This to ensure the integrity and security of all elections. Luzerne County lost probably about $2.1 million that would, could have helped for the payment of the voting machines. Governor Wolf was asked about the veto today in Harrisburg. He insists the Senate bill did not make for a more secure or more efficient voting place for voters. They had one element in there I think was uh, uh, eliminating straight party voting, which I'm not quite sure how that makes voting easier. So we had no conversation about that. And the governor says he has to have conversations about that issue and others in any new legislation. At the outset of this report, I talked about Luzerne County not being alone. I talked to other county leaders across our 20-county coverage area. Lackawanna County, our second largest county in our region, told me they were counting on $1.5 million from Harrisburg as part of that bill. Money they now will not be getting. Reporting at the Luzerne County Courthouse, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. Andy, thank you. And Governor Wolf says that he understands the dilemma facing county leaders and says his door is always open to lawmakers to discuss future legislation.